In this video, you will learn about the summation notation. Summation is the addition of a sequence of any kind of numbers called addends or summons. The result is their sum or total. It is a convenient and simple form of shorthand used to give a concise expression for a sum of the values of a variable. This is often used in statistics and also in sequences. This appears as a symbol of summation. This is the Greek uppercase letter sigma or capital letter sigma. The summation sign instructs us to sum the elements of a sequence. A typical element or an expression of the sequence which is being summed up appears to the right of the summation sign. The summation notation is also called the sigma notation. Let us understand all the elements and components of this notation. So the first one is the summation sign or the Greek letter sigma. Next is our x sub i. It can be any argument or any expression to be added. Next, we have 1. This is our starting point. Most of the time, it is 1, but rarely or occasionally, it can be any other counting number. Next, we have i. This is our index of summation. Next is our n. It is our stopping point or upper limit. Examples using and evaluating summation notations. Suppose we have these four items. How do we evaluate these four summation notations? The first item is the sum of n as n goes from 1 up to 5. The second item is the sum of 2n as n goes from 1 up to 4. The third one is the sum of 3n minus 1 as n goes from 1 up to 3. And the fourth one is the sum of 5 plus 2n as n goes from 1 up to 6. Now let us deal with the first item, Muna. So we have the sum of n as n goes from 1 to 5. This expression means the sum of all values of n starting from 1 and ending with 5. So the first value of n is 1, the second value is 2, the third one is 3, the fourth one is 4, and the fifth one is 5. So all you have to do is to get the sum of those 5 numbers there. We have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, that is just equal to 15. In other words, the value of this summation notation is just 15. Okay, for our next summation notation, this would be the sum of 2n as n goes from 1 up to 4. So here, this expression means that we are going to get the sum of all values of 2n starting from 1 and ending with 4. Now, this one is 2 times n, okay, since it is 2n. So we'll have the first n, which is 1, so 2 times 1, plus the next n is 2, so it's 2 times 2. Next n is 3, so we have 2 times 3. And then the last n would be 4, since it's our ending or stopping point, so we have 2 times 4. After that, we then simplify by multiplying first, okay, the... Uh, numbers for each term. So we have 2 times 1, we have 2. 2 times 2 is 4, so we have 2 plus 4, and then plus 2 times 3 is 6, and then lastly we have 2 times 4, which is 8. And then get the sum of these four numbers here. 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 is just equal to 20. Hence, the value of our summation or the sum of 2n as n goes from 1 up to 4 is just 20. And we have to take note here that for arithmetic sequence, this 2, 4, 6, and 8 here are our first four terms. Let's proceed to the third summation. We have the sum of 3n minus 1 as n goes from 1 up to 3. So here we have already a binomial. So you have to remember to properly substitute the value of n here. So our n values are only 1 up to 3. So, substituting from the expression itself, which is 3n minus 1, we have 3 times 1 minus 1, since 1 is our starting point. Plus, the next term would be n is equal to 2. So, we have 3 times 2 minus 1. And then the third one, since we are going to end 
a 3. So we have 3 times 3 minus 1. Okay, next, following MDAS, we have 3 times 1 is 3. And then just copy minus 1 plus 3 times 2 is 6. And then copy minus 1 plus 3 times 3 is 9. And then just copy minus 1. Next, we have to proceed with this subtract subtraction. So that would be 3 minus 1 is 2, plus 6 minus 1 is 5, plus 9 minus 1 is 8. And then add them all up. So we have 2 plus 5 plus 8, and that is 15. In other words, the value of our summation, or the sum of 3n minus 1 as n goes from 1 up to 3, is just 15. Okay, now let's try to evaluate the summation notation with um, fractions and negative values as of our arguments. The first one here is the sum of n over 2 plus 1 as n goes from 5 to 10. And the second one is the sum of negative 5n as n goes from 1 to 6. Okay, as you can see here for our first item, the starting point this time is not at 1. It starts off with 5 and then ends at 10. So we will use 5 first for our n. So we have 5 over 2 plus 1. Our next term is 6 over 2 plus 1. Then our third term is 7 over 2 plus 1. Fourth term is 8 over 2 plus 1. Next is we have 9 over 2 plus 1. And then lastly, we have 10 over 2 plus 1. We end at 10 because it's our stopping point. Okay, next, simplify. 5 over 2 is just 2.5. 6 divided by 2 is just 3. 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. And then the rest, we have 4, 4.5, and 5. Just copy plus 1. Okay, next. So um, inside our parentheses are just um, addition. So we have... 2.5 plus 1 is 3.5. Next, we add it up to 3 plus 1, which is 4. 3.5 plus 1 is 4.5. 4 plus 1 is just 5. 4.5 plus 1 is 5.5. And then we have 5 plus 1, and that is just 6. These are six add-ins. We have 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5, and 6. So adding them all up, we have 28.5. And this is the value of our expression. That is the sum of n over 2 plus 1 as n goes from 5 up to 10. Okay, our last item here is of negative expression or negative argument. So that is the sum of negative 5n as n goes from 1 up to 6. So the same as the previous examples, all you have to consider is the entire expression itself. So it's negative 5 times our numbers or values of n. So the first value of n, our starting point, is 1. So we have negative 5 times 1. And then we will end later at 6, okay? So we have the next one is negative 5 times 2. Next is negative 5 times 3. Next is negative 5 times 4. Next value of n is 5, so it's negative 5 times 5. And the last value of n is 6, so we have negative 5 times 6. And again, focus on the main expression. If the expression t tells you that it's negative 3n, so you'll have negative 3 times n, okay? If it's negative 2n, it's just negative 2 times the values of your n. Okay, next, simplify. We have negative 5 times 1, it's just negative 5, plus negative 5 times 2 is negative 10, plus negative 5 times 3 is negative 15, and then negative 5 times 4 is negative 20, negative 5 times 5 is negative 25, and negative 5 times 6 is negative 30. And then add them all up since they are of the same sign, which is negative, then we will just combine them, okay? So its sum is 105, or negative 105. So that's the value of our expression, which is the summation of negative 5n as n goes from 1 up to 6.